Hey everyone, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. The Nintendo Direct happened a couple days ago and I'm late to the party, but I've been super smashed with the content on the main channel and I want to give this channel some love. So I figured better late than never. We're going to go ahead and talk about the Nintendo Direct. So this is my Nintendo Direct wrap up. There was a lot of exciting announcements, uh, gameplay reveals, new games announced, remastered classics coming to the Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and get started. I can't wait to share with you my thoughts. Grab yourself a snack, sit back, and let's dive in, shall we? So first up, the one thing that I want to touch on is Pikmin 4. I fell in love with Pikmin when I played the game that was on the Wii U, and it seems so long ago, Pikmin 3. So playing these games is kind of like a different type of vibe and more of like a puzzle platformer. And at this event, we got a huge amount of content here. It kicked off the direct. We got our first look into the beautiful world of Pikmin 4 and the types of creatures that are in this world that you're exploring. We also got introduced to a new helper. It's a dog named Ochi. I'm a dope guy, so a dog guy, so I'm I'm all for that. He's going to help you be able to maneuver over obstacles and attack enemies. You know, Pikmin is always a wonderful type of game and it I think it's nice. You know, people are always like, "Can we get a new game like from something that they forgot about?" and, you know, "Come on." Uh, yeah, yeah. And and people are always like, "F0, this and that, this and that." I think Pikmin is a IP that Nintendo Nintendo really wants to be successful so this looks like it's going to be that now this comes out July 21st and my birthday month so I know what I'm getting for my birthday and uh, yeah I can't wait to see what adventures await us in this now the next game we're going to talk about that they showed up was a surprise I was not expecting this I am wearing my shirt in observance of this I have a nice Samus shirt you can see right here uh, Metroid Prime Remastered they revealed this pretty awesome it's finally on the switch and it, they shadow dropped it they literally pulled the you could play it today now it's coming physically at a later date pretty badass I played a lot of the original Metroid Prime on the GameCube back in the day uh, I'm gonna wait for the physical release to buy it or maybe I'll double dip and get it digitally and keep the physically sealed. I'm not the biggest Metroid fan. I'm going to be completely honest. But I definitely feel that this was a much needed release for Metroid guys. It seems like you guys have been left in the dust since the teaser of Metroid Prime 4. That never came out. Never came to fruition. So I feel for you guys. I definitely do. <laughs> but I think next year is going to be your year guys. I think we're going to see an exciting announcement with Metroid Prime 4 come E3 season. Now, continuing on, we got a huge surprise. If you're a fan of nostalgia, the Switch Online is getting an update for the expansion pack. We got the announcement of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. This was a rumor for quite some time. People were speculating this. It finally happened. I think it's about time. Uh, say what you want to say about the Switch Online service, but having access to these games is a nice little addition. Uh, they're now available. All you need is the Switch Online subscription with the expansion pack. So this costs just a little bit more extra. You'll be able to access Game Boy Advance games as well if you have the expansion pack. You got some heavy hitters in there. Tetris, Mario Land 2, Minish Cap. Uh, Wario Land 3 and more. Uh, I think there's a pretty good assortment here. They 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 threw the gauntlet down. Now, what remains to be seen as far as what they could release in the potential future? Uh, Golden Sun would be one that I would personally like to try. So you can even put different filters on it, make it look like you're playing on the OG Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Lots of options here. So definitely like that. Uh, now. Finally, the excitement that I was waiting for because it's the next heavy hitting game from Nintendo that's coming out, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I have been looking at this like a hawk. Zelda is my series. It's my franchise. It's the game that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, they even showed off a collector's edition that's already being scalped up. But this is the high, highly anticipated sequel to Breath of the Wild. We got a collector's edition. We got a new gameplay trailer. We even have a nice 
Link Amiibo. I don't think it's the squishy one, so don't use it to propose to any ladies. <laughs> but this game is coming out May, May 12th. So we're just a couple of months away, and it's Zelda season, boy. We're going to be talking Zelda a lot. If you guys want to see me talk more Zelda, give analysis, give stuff that I would like to see in it, please let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, that was just a taste of a lot of the amazing announcements at the Direct. We even had like um, that Maraca game, Samba de Migo. They showed that. They showed a few other games. <sighs> It was good to finally get a Nintendo Direct out there because, let's be honest, Nintendo's kind of been dry as far as first-party offerings go. You know, you get this weird sense of quietness from Nintendo often towards the end of its life cycle of whatever console it's on. They start off with a banger and they get hit after hit after hit after hit and then it kind of dries up. And then Nintendo kind of does this disappearing act. But I think Nintendo's been caught off guard, honestly. And I want to touch on this in a separate video. I think they've been caught off guard with the success of the Nintendo Switch. In all honesty, I feel that they weren't anticipating it doing so well. They came off of a console, the Wii U, that just completely bombed. Had great games, though, but it completely bombed. Uh, and now I think they're having to regroup, especially with Metroid Prime 4 being delayed. I think that threw some uh, bones <laughs> in their soup. I think it threw some eggs in their bat. Like, you know, it basically just ruined their plans for a little bit. It was a wrench in their plans and they weren't ready. Uh, you had a couple of games delayed with Zelda and stuff like that. And, you know, there was a lot of exciting announcements. We're in February, so I think come June, you know, E3 season, even though Nintendo is not participating in E3, they usually do their own direct. So I think by then we're going to see some stuff. We got the Mario movie coming out. Maybe we'll have the hint of a new Mario game being revealed here pretty soon. Uh, Mario Kart is getting some fucking badass expansions. Birdo just got it add, added on to that. So if you're a Nintendo fan, don't give up. <laughs> I think they're going to surprise us. Especially with the Switch because they're going into uncharted territory here with how well the console's doing. And and I think they're not going to let us down. They're not going to let it flop. Um, is there going to be a new Switch model and stuff? I don't know. That's all speculation and, you know, who knows. But with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom being their primary focus right now and then eventually Pikmin 4... Um, what's left after that is Metroid, like naturally, right? Metroid Prime 4 will eventually be thrown into the gauntlet. And then what happens after that? A Mario, Star Fox, who knows? So it's exciting times. This Nintendo Direct was a great banger start to the season. And I think uh, we're, we're going to be in good hands here. I, I'm going to be honest. I kind of was getting a little let down with Nintendo, but they redeemed themselves. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I do live streams and extra video content here. Would love to have you guys on. Thank you for watching.